Today's episode is a very exciting one, one that's very close to my heart. Guys, we are heading off to the ASOS HQ. So, I have actually arranged with my old buyer, um, who I used to work for when I worked at ASOS. Um, I worked for her for about a year actually, and I've not seen her in a year. So I'm really excited to see her and I just thought it'd be interesting for you guys to meet her, know a little bit about what it means, what it entails to be a buyer. Cause that used to be my end goal, I used to want to be a buyer, I was a buyer's assistant. Um, hopefully meet a couple of the girls that I used to work with um, who are also buyer's assistants. And we're also meeting a brand that I used to work for on ASOS. Um, a brand called Chelsea Piers. I'm hoping that they're going to be there. She did say, Christina did say that they were. So fingers crossed, we get to see a little bit of um, Chelsea Piers, any samples that they've brought. Just kind of want to show you guys sort of the process that it is to become a buyer and what, what my old job was. And also a little tour of the ASOS HQ. So yeah, let's head there down. We're going to drive it's a couple of hours. So. Let's go. because I used to like play with it when I was like in a meeting if I was nervous or something so like and my picture was so ugly like I kind of purposely played with it so that I would scratch the picture off because the picture was so bad <laughs> <laughs> okay so we're going to wait for Christina and then we're going to head upstairs <laughs> Instagram, Pinterest, yeah. Pinterest. We used to find it really hard getting in space for nightwear because what do you we I used to look on WSN mainly, mm. and then and there's and not, there's a, lot not a lot. Of them. Yeah. That was like the smallest category that they would show of like design inspiration and we stuff. Can, yeah. Got a new shape then this this uh, season or not? The wide leg. Oh, it's been really good. Yeah, I do like a wide yeah. leg pajama. Because it's that kind of all sorts you could wear out and about. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> people wearing it. I'm about to go, yeah! yeah. I'm watching people yeah. wearing it. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Pajamas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. wearing green leopard pajamas. Yeah. No, they're not. Yeah. Like wear a shirt or like, yeah, yeah. just take the trouser. Yeah. Yeah. Like the satin. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
plant. You know what? We had some right laughs when we used to um, like write the names of an animal. They still have it. There was this ASOS page where it would like, um, what was it called? Asbos. Yeah, Asbos. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was like this Instagram page that went viral. It was like all the yeah. weird stuff on ASOS. And then I got called out because I like, named the wrong animal on one of the other <laughs> Pink and navy, and the men's have got the navy as well as the women's, so they can be. Oh, so do you have matching together. like women's and men's? Yeah, yeah. matching as matching. well. This is really like soft, Joe. Right? Yeah. I didn't see that when. When I used to work here. Oh wow. Bed to beach. Bed to beach. Really cute. Couch to course is also <laughs> oh, I like that one. Oh, okay. I love that. That's a cute tagline. Like one thing for us is always having that soft hand feel. Yeah. yeah. I think and having the texture yeah. and the point difference. Yeah. You know, now I think more than anything it's like consumers want to see like an elevated product. So they want to see that change because there's just so much out there and it's getting very stagnant. So we're always looking at that change that we can do and elevate. So she's actually taken her dog and turned it into a print for the pajamas. Yeah. Really cute. It kind of looks like Dylan. Wait, are you doing dog's clothes? Yeah. Just so you were so little this year. So we're going to show the top selling Chelsea Pierce products right now. Right, so this is a reaction of some of the newness that we've had live go last six to eight weeks so we wanted to show like the move on where it switched out at Christmas so you can see like they're all really loving like the pastel colours. One of these are on really quick colours. Birthday doll, what one's that? Yeah, so it's like it's got a little party hat. Yeah, it's a sausage. Men's wear it's a lot plainer but the women's are quite bold in the print so. Yeah, that red one. Yeah. That's surprising that that's the top seller. Like, not saying it's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, but it's quite interesting this time of year because it is all, it can be tricky. Obviously, coming out of Christmas, we're in January, people haven't got any money, so it's like yeah. they have to really love something to buy it. So it's good to see what they're buying into after Christmas. That's a very true point. Yeah. Have you seen it? So it's birthday dogs. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> just met with Chelsea Pierce, it's a brand that I worked with on uh, non clothing with Christina. I'd never actually met them before, so it was really nice to meet them. Just talked everything sort of design, what's coming up, what was it, SS23? No, 4. SS24, and a little sneak peek of autumn winter. 23, yeah. So, really exciting stuff. It felt actually really weird being back in a meeting like that, being like, I don't feel like I've done too many of them though. No. I think uh, we went to Manchester together. Yeah, um, yeah. I went to see Lounge or was it South Beach? Yeah, I think both, both of them. Both yeah. of them. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like cause I, I don't know. Didn't do, we used to do a lot of Zoom calls? Yeah, it's a lot of it was COVID, wasn't it? For yeah. a lot of the time. A lot of, of teams course, meeting. Two years of my job would have yeah. been in COVID. Yeah. Or was it one year? I don't remember. Sorry, I'm with Christina now. My buyer. My old <laughs> buyer. So I used to work with. So yeah, we were just having a little chat because we were talking about as a buyer, you get to travel and like go to what is it like fashion? What would you say? Yeah, like trade, trade shows. shows. Yeah, yeah, trade shows are big one, especially on branded areas. So yeah, I think I, my areas it's lingerie and swimwear. So we were just saying in swimwear in Miami is a big one. So that's kind of have you been to it before? I've never no. been to it before. No. Um, have you been to Miami before? Like? No. Oh my god, it'd be like first time. Yeah. So um, we'll see if yeah if that happens later on in the year. But yeah, yeah it's obviously swimwear has been on a bit of a back burner for the last couple of years because of COVID and people not travelling and going on holidays. But it's oh just the year to like really go for it. So I feel like people are probably desperate for it yeah, after so. COVID and stuff. So it could you, we could probably see a really big spike in it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't feel like people are put off going on holidays. So. No, yeah. yeah. Everyone wants a holiday. Everyone wants a holiday. Yeah, so everyone wants to be the holiday. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so you've got that. Anything, any, any other trips you've got planned? So we go up to Manchester quite a lot to yeah. see our brands. Yeah. So yeah, some UK ones yeah. you as well. So yeah, we still um, travel up to the brands. So you can go to see them, to their show to see everything they've got, mm. so um, that's always a good trip. Yeah. This is a great place. It's growing. Yeah. There's always so many people there to see now. So 
that's a really good place to go to. Um, but yeah, there are other London, around London really. Last yeah. year I did get to go to LA for <gasps> um, a swim trade show there as well, so that was good. Did you? Um, and great to see all the shops and what the swimwear shops have got out there, because mm. obviously it's got much longer swim season than we have. So Yeah, cool. So nice. I wanted you to say, like, talk a bit about what you know, your day to day job as a buyer is, and also like where you started, like kind of your journey, really. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> I started out as a BA as well, so I know the job and I, I did it for a few years um, at TKMX actually. And then I, yes, so I started there, um, and so after that, I moved to um, another brand alley and I also moved to another website from pre way before something at ASOS. So I've been at ASOS. 11 years now so I came in as a junior buyer um, and within the job responsibilities it's a lot about um, owning your department, identifying the trends, trading the product, negotiating prices, managing a team as well and helping the team develop um, and yeah constantly a lot of change like things have changed a lot in the fashion industry so keeping up with everything yeah. um, trading is really important because the fashion industry now is not just about seasonal trends it's about you know um, quick market trends that can come up so it's reacting yeah. to that so yeah there's, there's a lot of different um, aspects of the job you have to yeah work, have good math skills as well and work out like spend yeah. margins <laughs> and as you remember all the big sheets that you yeah. used to have good Excel skills as well so some of the things that you might not always think are of the obvious skills, you also yeah. do need. Sometimes I feel like within like buying as a job, I always felt like I worked better under pressure. Mm -hmm. Like you know when you just like you're on the job and you've got a sort of problem, like and that's a lot of it, isn't it? It's that there's a lot of things that can go wrong in the rubble with yeah. like suppliers, shipping, like something's not turned up on time or I don't know, it's the same. Oh, wrong with the yeah. product, and yeah. then you're like, oh my god, we've got all of this stock, and it's and been trying to happen in the warehouse. Exactly, it's it 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 all the time. It's it yeah. is almost like sometimes your days go, and you don't know what you spend it doing because there's yeah. been so many unexpected things coming up. And so true. Yeah, your to do list changes all the time, and you've got to flex it. And then suddenly, what was urgent in the morning is no longer urgent. It's more urgent. To yeah. Up, so. I really liked the math side of it and like yeah. working out the cost price and like oh how much are we going to do that especially because my mum used to do the jewellery yes, I the loved to do the jewellery yeah. department so yeah. the Christina actually handed over the responsibility <laughs> to me <laughs> I loved no I did nice love it job. yeah, yeah. jewellery was like do you remember when I first started I, well he wasn't my buyer then but like I would always wear like these crazy earrings like and I would like wear like big heart heart diamond earrings or like <laughs> chunky necklaces and then Christine was like, yeah, I feel like you're good at jewellery. Yeah. You're always really well accessorised. I was, right yes. <laughs> <laughs> So I had that and that was uh, that was probably my favourite part. Yeah. My favourite part was seeing the jewellery department. And yeah, you used to manage the OTB, you used to speak to the merchandise. Yeah. yeah. So, just for anyone watching, what does OTB, OTB. mean? Yeah. So, OTB is open to buy, so it means how much you've got to spend for the season. Mm. Pretty much. So we'll look at it by department, category and brand level. Um, and yeah, it's just your plan really. So yeah, it's what you used to manage, mm. isn't it? Look at how much you had, yeah. buy what, whether it's rings or jewellery. You know, so a ring, rings and bracelets were less popular than necklaces and mm. earrings. So we'd have more to spend. Earrings was our biggest mm. category, wasn't yeah. it? Um, and then necklaces. So we'd have more money to spend in that part. So when we would go and do a buy, um, we'd had like really nice supplies, something like yeah. crystal and yeah. nylon. We'd meet them, um, and you would decide, you know, what we kind of based it on. So we had like your cuff. What, I don't know what the right word is, like classics, basics, like you your one core, your core, core yeah, yeah, that will definitely sell, like let's say like a gold hoop, like a simple gold hoop, like everyone will buy. And then you have like your wrist, so like something a bit out there that's quite trend driven and like not everyone will like it. And you have like the seasonal, so it might just be yes. like party season, so you would go for it with the crystals. Yes, yeah. exactly. So there's so loads of different yeah. ways to buy, isn't there? there is, yeah. It's really fun. Do you miss it? Talking about it? <laughs> oh. Sorry, we had to move rooms because we actually stole someone's meeting room. But I wanted to ask, what is your favourite part about being a buyer? 
Um, seeing the product, it's really exciting, and also, yeah, every day is different. Mm. And also working with teams, I think it's exciting, so you know how exciting everyone gets over yeah. everything, and everyone's there for the same reason, and yeah, I think everyone has a real passion for it, so. Yeah, you're so right. I think when we started, like, the, when, as a team, mm. I've now got, like, best friends for life from working at ASOS, and, like, you just... You become so close, and everyone wants the same thing, and we all love fashion. It's just yeah. nice, isn't it? Exactly. Same shared interests. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say thank you, and I've missed you. No, I missed you too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is Gary, who I was just telling you about. My old AB, who now moved on to face and body. I wanted to ask you. Go for it. <laughs> so, how did this come about, please? Because. I didn't even. I thought, was it you that told me, Zoe? What? Like recently? When was it? How long has it been that you moved over? Oh yeah, a couple yeah. months. I think I'm in my like fourth month now. Oh, it's that like been a while. Yeah, a little while. Oh. I still feel super new, but it's really exciting. So, is it much different to non-clothing, like what you do, or like you know? Yeah, I'd say the it. pace is really different. It's a lot more fast-paced. We're kind of buying very close to need. Um, yeah. But yeah, super fun. Different, but like a fun new challenge. And what do you prefer? Oh! <laughs> oh I'm cool. under pressure. <laughs> I'm appreciative for all the roles I've had. <laughs> but I really feel like I've found my place on Booty now. Oh, that's nice. I mean, you have always loved to be. Do you remember when, when was it? With the Christmas party, you went down and you got your makeup done. Oh, yeah, and you were telling me how to pose. <laughs> Really, I'm, I'm getting so my makeup done, and they want to do it on um, socials. And there was actually that part I don't like know how to pose. Can you come down when I'm done, and then like just help me like take pictures? Like, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that was so long ago now. So what is um, your your biggest brand on beauty? Um, so we've got a lot of biggies like Charlotte Tilbury. Everyone yeah. loves that Tilbury Glow. Oh um, yes. Love that. We've got NARS, Huda Beauty is amazing. They're both not. so good. Yeah, NARS. Uh, who else do we have? Morphe. We've got some really exciting new ones, so hopefully I can. Yeah, we'll wait we'll to see them see. soon. I do want to know if there's any goss on any new brands. Yeah, we've got a lot in the pipeline for this year, so really, really exciting. Um, one teaser I can share with you. Ooh. We've got a brand launching for a very special Valentine's Day moment. So I don't know if you love them already, but Doll Beauty <gasps> um, is one we're really, really excited to hang on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Was it Doll Beauty? Doll Beauty, I think I've got their um, eyelash glue. And it's so good. Yeah, amazing. So you need to get that on there as well. And they've got some incredible new products. So what, what well. Doll Beauty is obviously just eyelashes and glue. No, but whole face, they've got you covered. No. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got to get you to try some. It's amazing. I've actually never used their face stuff. Super like have you? What have you used? and glam. Their blush is amazing. Oh. I'm recently converted to a blush girl and they're amazing. Bronzer is amazing as well. It's like really creamy. Um, and it all comes in like the cutest pink packaging, like heart shaped, perfect for Valentine's. Oh. Um, so As yeah. if you like launching it around Valentine's. Uh, no. Well, we, we planned it. We sh do we stop really cool? I've got a PR um, package. Yeah, we that definitely did. Is, yeah. is it still going? Did you really? Yeah. Did you well, want what? We had the lashes on the There was all ASOS. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so my lovely Carrie. Love her so much. <laughs> um, really nice to talk to you. Thanks for coming down. Thanks for spilling a little secret. Yeah. And you, you can see it on YouTube now. You're gonna watch it. Oh my god, yeah, probably <laughs> through my fingers. But yeah, I will. So now the next chat is with Izzy and Zoe, who are also BA. <laughs> Stop it. This is really weird. Right, guys. Oh, I've never felt more so in my life. <laughs> As I was saying earlier, I've got some best friends that I've made since working at ASOS, and these are two of them. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted to chat with them, but I don't think I'm going to be able to be as serious with this. We'll <coughs> try. Yeah, we'll try and be as right. serious and professional as possible. Pretend we're actually at work. Yeah, all right then. Okay. We are. So, <laughs> so yeah, we are. Oh, yeah, we're all at work right now. This is my job, too. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys do at ASOS? Um, I'm a buying assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Sorry, 
very, very going, going. Right. Yeah. We're BAs. Yeah. In a role of buying, you need to be a BA, don't you? So you do. we all started at the very bottom. Yeah, entry. Entry. And we all met at ASOS. So I started to first. Yeah. And yeah. then you, and then Izzy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. yeah well. mm -hmm. So Zoe, what team was the first team you were on? First team I was on was um, sports. Oh, was it? I never <laughs> knew you were on sport. No, I was on sport. And then you moved to footwear like quite quickly. Yeah, and then I moved to footwear, and then I was on jewelry and watches. Yeah. And then I was on premium and denim, right. and now I'm on bridal. Bridesmaid. I'm going out. I didn't even know no, that. No, you didn't know that. I saw that no. on your face. Yeah. Bridal and bridesmaid. I didn't realise mm. that was a department. No, well, it's not. in going out, but I do the bridal and bridesmaid brands. Right. So it's like going out on High Street, I'm out there. Okay. And I do the bridal and bridesmaid brands. Yeah. All of those uh, departments you've worked for, what was your favourite? Who I'm on now. Is it? Oh, sorry, that's not the right answer, actually. Oh shit, the one I was with you, all of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the better answer. <laughs> right, now Izzy, tell me like your journey. I've been on accessories the whole time. From you the, started from off the beginning. with Zoe? Yeah, and they accessories. And when you was on it, but now I do men's and yeah. women's accessories. You was on it, didn't Yeah, we was on it yeah. together. Right, there was one moment at work, and they were like, um, oh, all the BAs, and put all of you together, and you're all going to sit together, so we you can together. work really hard. Yeah. And that didn't happen. <laughs> like <laughs> we all just, like, clicked instantly. We just, like, laugh all day. Didn't we? All day, every day. We did do a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. we were all hard workers. So, actually, that's a good thing to talk about. You're both senior now, aren't you? So, then from um, senior buyer's assistant, you become an assistant buyer, but there's obviously three levels at ASOS so it's entry, established, senior. Yeah. Yeah. So, you'd have to do those three roles as an AB, and then we get to a Buyer. So what do you actually do day to day now? Because you're saying your job role sort of changed a little bit because you're a senior. What's what's that? Um, I took over buying jewellery. Um, <gasps> what you used to do. Yeah. I let you over from you. Oh, do you love it? Love it. I loved it. Loved it so much. It's fun, much. isn't it? Yeah, it was. You used to do the jewels, Yes. Do the buys. Just <gasps> do the whole thing. Just a little bit more about buying um, and how we do a buy and the cycle of that, so he's going to tell us a little bit on what happens. So initial steps are obviously looking at your trends, kind of what's driving the trends basically that season and then yeah. you'd do a little trend pack, thank you, <laughs> do a little trend pack for the season, send it to the supplier, um, it depends how like involved you are with supplier in terms of design but you basically, yeah, you send them a trend board of kind of your image, how you want the pack to go down. Um, and then they, the supplier would kind of, you'd sit down and have a meeting with them, they'd show you what's on offer. <laughs> they'd show you what they've got to offer and then you do a selection based on that and then you kind of negotiate cost prices, try and hit, you know, the targets that you've been given within the company and then, yeah, you place the buyer for whatever time you think is best, like with your merchandising team. So then initially we'll, we'll just confirm, we'll just select the things based on like the pictures or whatever. And then the supplier will send us like a pre-production, a pre-production sample, or like a gold seal sample. It can be called. And then once you've approved it, you kind of go to production stage and then get that shot. And then that's what goes on site, and that's what um, well, is process. produced. Yeah. Final result. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Being on my YouTube girls. <laughs> Love you. Always just squished. <laughs> Everything that that entails. Um, but yeah, so keep your eye out for the next one. I have a little idea of what I want to do. And I think you're going to be shocked about it. But yeah, I'll see you in the next Fashion Diaries. Bye!